The biggest thing I saw this week was that Zayn Malik yeah. has been um, not doing too well, it appears. Um, so apparently, from what I understand of the situation, mm-hmm. on at the end of September, there was an yep. altercation at his and Gigi's house mm-hmm. where Yolanda came in and she alleges that he pushed her into a drawer, like a dresser, like a drawer. Yeah, kind I think of so, yeah. Furniture, a big, heavy piece of furniture anyway. Yeah. And that he hit her in this process. Um, and it came out in the week that it possibly has come from Yolanda. Yeah. Um, it seems to be the source, at least from Zane's point of view, that he's alleging that she leaked this to the press. So he came out with a statement that said he like adamantly denied it. And he's declining to like speculate anymore for the sake of his daughter. Yeah. And then it's starting to come out that he was actually uh, charged with four counts of harassment against Gigi. Yeah. And um, he's admitted no contest to them, which means I did look it up that it's not an admission of guilt. So if he's like tried yeah. for it, he can still be tried for this if yeah. it's taken to court. But it's not an admission of guilt. It's just I'm not going to contest the charges, I think, yeah. is what happens. I think it also uh, makes things a little bit easier. Yeah. Than, which maybe is something they're looking to do, is make things all a bit easier. It's um, just sad. It seems like it's a really sad situation. It really does. And I wish, like, I want Zane and Gigi to do their best to yeah. be good co-parents and this all to be swept under the rug. I'm seeing, like a lot of like oh Yolanda hate which and uh, sorry yeah Yolanda it's slander. Valid. yeah Yolanda slander um <laughs> at the end of the day she still probably had a traumatic thing happen to her and I'm not condoning that in any way it does not deserve to happen to anyone but from the story I'm getting it seems that she she was putting sh- uh, Shane Zane under a mighty amount of stress. I mean, we don't, we're never going to know the full story. But I've heard reports that she turned up to his apartment or whatever. Gigi's not there. Turned up with a bodyguard to take the baby away um, unannounced and stuff like that. And obviously, if that's the case, the abuse is still terrible. But I think, like, they're both in the wrong, potentially. Yeah. And, and it wouldn't surprise shame. me if they're yeah. both in the wrong. Yeah, it's just playing out in public, which is just bad again. Like no, it just feels. No, and I don't really. I feel bad because I know that so far, Gigi and Zayn are really trying to keep their child out of the public eye, and I think that's mm. a very good thing to have done. And yeah, I kind of want to respect that, but it's still drama. So it's a lot of drama, and he yeah. was like, "There's accounts that he was swearing and saying all these yes. horrible things to Gigi and." It's not good in any. Yeah. But so he's. I think that he's been caught under to like take anger management classes, which I think yeah. is can only be a good thing. We're never gonna know the full like situation. Yeah. Um, but I think Yolanda slander is is important because we've all seen the comments she made to Gigi back in the day. Yeah. We don't love it. Uh, but do remember, you know, she's still the victim of some abuse in some way even if she was partially responsible for it it still shouldn't have happened absolutely two people can be bad in a situation yeah that's the moral of the story absolutely and neither Um, one condones the other's actions no and it's just sad that it happened and that it's sad that the public knows so much about it as well which is yeah and i want them to i want everyone to be able to co-parent this little baby who's probably going to be the most stunning baby known to them okay (laughs) you know there's a lot of like Good There's genes good genes working. there. Yeah. <laughs> working overtime in that baby. Yeah. <laughs> um.